Use the force. They both pinwheel? What's up, guys? So, I thought I'd try out this new mod for Dark Souls 1. It changes a bunch of things. It, um, I was doing a playthrough with Daughters of Ash, but I, I had to reinstall Dark Souls, so I thought I'd try this new, new mod. It, it basically changes, like, a lot of the weapons and item stats, and changes the spells and enemy stats, but I don't think it actually changes, like, enemy placements or bosses like the Daughters of Ash mod did. Uh, so one of the things it does, it adds the sounds ring, and I think this gives you two attunement slots instead of one, and it also gives 10% more healing. The old witch's ring, I think, boosts pyromancy by 20%, gives you one attunement slot. Tiny beam's ring now increases health by 20%, and I don't think they made any other changes. I don't know if there's any changes to these classes besides stats. Now, it looks like it changes the shield in this. And like I said, like a lot of the armor and a lot of the armor and weapons are different stats now. So like if there's something that was weak in the vanilla, you can maybe make it stronger. Okay, I like this better than the, the vanilla thief because the vanilla, vanilla thief had both high faith and intelligence, which I mean, there are builds you can do with that just because like the rule of seal Ivory Catalyst has low intelligence requirements, so you could do like a faith build. If you want to do like a faith build, and there's also a lot of like weapons that have high dex requirements, like the Black Knight weapons, so like you definitely could do a build, an optimal build with the thief, but I think this is better. So, okay, so the knight has high faith. We need like the Dark Souls 2 bandit where it has like high faith and low attunement and then you get a ring to boost the attunement slots. Okay, Deprive. Looks like it has lower... I think they low... Oh, it's at level 1 now and I think they lowered the stats. It used to be higher stats. Monk. So what I want to do is like an occult warrior. So like a faith... faith... faith build with some strength and... Um, like dark magic, like one of the things they did is they boosted the Gravelord's sword dance, so I definitely want to go get that. I don't know if we want to use the... I want to, I want to do like a separate run with the, um, Gravelord's sword, because it, it's the closest thing to the lance in Dark Souls 1. Like the lance is from Dark Souls 2 because it has like a thrust attack. Alright, so... The Pyromancer is about the same, they changed it to Highwayman, but... Sorcerer looks about the same. Okay, different weapon for the peasant. Or for the hunter, I guess. Uh, diff- Okay, so it's like the... I forget. The Wanderer. The Wanderer's weapon and shield, but... Brute. Looks like they're about the same. I think lower decks than vanilla. Okay, so this has... This has the thief's weapons, but... The Wanderer's equipment and stats. Wait, so what did the thief have? Oh, wait, no, this has... Scimitar, this one's a scimitar, and this one's the falchion, which, they start with the same shield. Yeah, it looks like it, but yeah, the falchion has a falchion instead of a scimitar. Oh, they changed the faith and intelligence. The, the wanderer used to have higher intelligence. Okay, so this has 11 faith and 9 attunement. I think this is the best, because it has low dex and low intelligence. We won't use the Grave Lord Sword, I guess. And we'll go with the Tiny Bean Ring, because we already, we already have attunement. We already have a few attunement slots, plus we're not going to be using Pyromancy. Master Key, you really... I don't think we really need, to be honest. We can always buy it. Uh, I think we just buy it after you ring the two bells, so... I haven't... I really... I really suck at, like, the character creation. We're just going to roll with this. I don't have time to... Oh, it looks like we started with four, so I didn't even check the starting... Oh yeah, so they changed the stats, but I don't remember. I don't know if they changed, like, they changed the, changed the stats of a lot of things. The mace, I honestly don't remember what the original stats were. This, I also don't really remember. <laughs> but once we find item, oh yeah, the, so let's make sure this, so we have 662 HP, remove this, goes out to 5. 550. So yeah, that's, that's like a pretty significant increase, which... 
Yeah, which is really cool. The day. Well, we are one-shotting these guys. I don't... Like I said, I really don't remember. And yeah, I don't know what weapon I'm going to use, because like I said, they changed around the stats. Oh, I guess that was a counter hit. Okay, we can, uh... I don't know if they changed the stats on the canvas towel. I don't know, they did change the stats on the towel swings, but I... Well, yeah, what is... So what is the... Uh, magic adjust? It's... Wait, where is, where is the magic adjust? 122? So we'll have to go... Go compare it with what Petrus is. Oh wait, do I have the DS fix? Okay, you gotta wait. Yeah, you gotta switch to 30 FPS to do the if you're using DS fix. Or well, no, you can still make it, but you gotta do a jump rather than just walking off. Yeah, so rolling's a bit wonky if you're locked on, but I do feel comfortable, more comfortable being locked on. I also don't have my reshade setting in installed, which... Uh, I know some people might not care, but I, I do like how it looks better with, with the reshade. They buffed the Demon Greyhammer, so I was thinking about looting the firebombs, but... You can get the sack pretty easily and trade that to Snugly for the um, Great Hammer. So I wanted to use this uh, Crystal Great Sword, but they nerfed it. So yeah, we're gonna. I guess we're just gonna go go in on the Faith. So yeah, it's nice. We, I'm just curious how many. I don't want more tomb sauce. So I was just curious how much we need. Oh yeah, what? What was it? Let's check our magic adjust for the fit, the face scaling, face scaling. Uh, so it's at um, one twenty-two. One twenty-four. All right. Well, so we'll compare. See what Patrice is. So I know Petrus, the one he sells, is like really good at low, um, whatever, low, low faith, his is really good. Alright, we'll sell that, thanks. Yeah, and still like, completely jacking up the prices. Wait, didn't we start with, we start, we have force, I, we started with force, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, so, okay, yeah, this has 165 magic adjust, so it's, uh, what? Silver Talisman has 130 magic adjust. That's new, I think. And I, I know they changed the, changed the stats on a lot of different spells, but, oh yeah, let's see if the morning, what the morning star stats are, because I remember, I remember I like, I like the way the morning star looked, but, like, the stats are... The vanilla stats are just really poop, to be honest. Okay, we got a, we got a silver talisman. I don't know what we can do in the crack I don't remember if we can trade those in at all or... So this is up to 136, so it's still like a lot worse than the Thorland talisman. Yeah, the Thorland talisman's like the ivory catalyst. Where if you just meet the minimum stats, it's like really good. So this is a 130. We're, we're already better. Okay, so what's this? This is 188 plus 6. This is 88 plus 6. 91 plus 9. Uh oh, I think they buffed it. I, I don't know. Maybe it's... I mean, it is weaker than the mace, but it does the bleed, so... Well, we don't have a lot of souls to lose, so might as well, like, loot this.
I don't remember where all the items are. There's that shield that's like good, good against magic, the Caduceus. Isn't it like around here? Yeah. Oh, we have force. Use the force. I don't know if we'll need it, but I mean, we could even like knock them off the cliff, probably. I think they changed force, but I don't remember exactly. Okay, so I think they re I think they reduced the radius. They reduced the radius of force. Or I don't know. They. I just remember they like balanced the radius of force and. Um. What was what's the what's the damn it the one that does damage? Um. Uh. Wrath of the Gods. Okay. Yeah, it, it balanced the radiuses, but I forget which one they made smaller and which one they made bigger, because I haven't really used them a lot, so I don't really remember. Maybe it's just the binoculars. But... I think we're just gonna die. Oh, we should, uh, we might as well just go get, uh, we might as well get the grave, graveyard, gravelord sword dance now. Uh, yeah, it's like, in Dark Souls 2, like, my favorite spells are the ones that are, like, centered around caster, so. Heavenly Thunder, Heavenly Thunder and Scraps of Life. So, like, gravelord sword dance is similar to that, it's just... Vanilla is like really weak. I, I, did, I think I did use it a little bit in my Miracles and Pyromancy playthrough. Or at least I was planning to. It also does Toxic. In, I mean, in this version. Oh no. Okay, we wanna two, can I two hand this? Okay. Wait, wasn't there a second one? Oh, wow, this is like no damage. Um. Damn it! This place sucks. Twenty-five faith, I think, to get to the join the covenant. Maybe I'll just get up to twenty. See if that's enough. Maybe they changed it. I didn't see anything in the description, but because I mean, I do want to level up the other stats. Just um, if we're gonna use Grave Lord Sword Dance, we actually don't need that high faith. So maybe, maybe I will put one into strength. Yeah. I, I wish his health go up twenty. We're gonna need like strength and endurance if we're gonna use strength weapons, so because that's what I wanted I mean that's what I, that's really what I wanted to do here. It's because like I said, I already have the miracles and pyromancy playthrough. Yeah, yeah so Okay, we're fine, I think. Okay. And unlike Daughters of Ash, I don't think this uh, changes any of the enemy spawns or item placements, which is fine. I mean, I'm not I'm not looking for a challenge run. Okay, um, 
I guess I should have locked, either locked on or tried to roll. Oh no, that's gonna kill me. Uh, we could like try the force. And yeah, I don't know how much I don't know how much I should come out of this. I like that. I I wanna like. I want to make my videos more. I don't know. Better. I don't. I want to cut out the boring parts if possible. Okay. Okay. We good? Oh no, no! Skelly, Skelly! Fuck, Skelly! Get away from the Skelly move! Oh no. I don't even remember. Where, where the hell? Where is it? Where is it? It's right there. Wait, what? That wasn't part of the deal. I don't. I feel like we had iframes when we were in there. Yeah, I've been watching this um channel uh, play Dark Souls. It's uh called Friends with Without Benefits, and I got me in the mood to playing Dark Souls. Okay. Um, well, I mean, I'll play this cutscene just because I, I don't know, maybe there's some people who haven't, um, seen this. I mean, I think you see, like, a skeleton, which is possibly Nido when you, like, just for a split second when you close the coffin. Oh, so much for joining Petrus's Covenant. So, I don't know if we'll join the Sunlight Covenant right away. You don't really need to, to be honest. Or, well, I mean, I'm just thinking, like, I think, I think these, uh, I think you lose damage. If you leave the Covenant, you lose damage on the Grave Lord Sword Dance. I have some other playthroughs that I, that I started that I was thinking about doing. One was, uh, Miracles and Pyromancy Only. It's a focus on Miracles, but just because, like, Miracles Only can be really, Ornstein Snow is going to be really hard for Miracles Only. So, yeah, I decided to do miracles with a bit of pyromancy, and that's it. No, no melee, no sorcery or anything else. Yeah, I think there's like three more eyes of death in the Tomb of the Giants, so you can rank up in the Covenant pretty quickly. But you know, we could, we could try killing Pinwell. I don't think we're going to be able to do it with these stats, though. I think we should probably rest at the bonfire, but... Since we're here, we might as well grab some items. See if we can knock these guys off the cliff. Cause that's not the only way we can kill them. And the other one is a pure intelligence build. But I was doing, um, staff combat, which was kind of fun. But I was like, kind of in the mood to doing like more of a strength build. So, there is a bit of a cast time though. I think it's a little bit slower than the Dark Souls 2. Yeah, in Dark Souls 2, like, if you're doing a sp- I've been- I do spells only speed- speed runs, and if you only kill Alicia- Oh, yeah, I guess they're not- I know sometimes you can- I thought you could kill a skeleton with full damage, but maybe not. Yeah, what's- Wait, wait, is this like a sound stream down here? We really shouldn't be here. Oh, we have heal. That helps. Okay, I don't think we're gonna be able to bleed out Nido. If I can just go for Nido, I... It would be good to get the Seance Ring. Um... I, mean, I know they buff some other rings. Well, you know, we don't actually have spells... We don't even have spells right now for this... <laughs> for the Seance Ring, so... I actually don't, don't really need to. 
But yeah, the Grave Lord Sword requires like 13 decks, so we're not gonna level up decks because we don't. Well, and we don't have enough for this Y hander. And I did, I did, did have a playthrough of the random item. Um, but I, I don't know. I just honestly like I didn't didn't want to set it up because I forgot how to set it up. I actually had to reinstall Dark Souls because I was having problems. So I want to like save my Estus if possible. Oh no. Oh, no. I mean, f this isn't good. I don't. I know we can do the save and reload trick, but I don't really like relying on that. Oh no. Wait, no, okay, this is good actually. Oh, no, I should have used the heal. Wait, where am I now? Which way? Fuck. Got turned around. Okay. Oh, right, 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 okay. So I'm pretty sure this is just the duplicate, so I'm not... I'm not even gonna bother with that. It's just the cleric set. Great, good RNG with the uh, bone wheels. So yeah, we'll we'll drop down, we'll heal, and then we'll. Oh no, I guess we. Okay. Um, that was a lot of damage. Did they buff pinwheel? Uh, you know what, let's, uh, I'm gonna stop it here. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you did enjoy this video, please remember to leave a like. Not only does it help more people find my videos, but it lets me know which videos people are interested in, so I can do more of these type of videos in the future. I also enjoy hearing from you guys, so feel free to leave a comment to let me know what you think of the video.